All right. The darkness. Okay, so you just looked up nuclear shadow people. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> he goes on his phone and he pulls up nuclear shadow people, and I see him look at the thumbnail that's present on the page, like, before it even loads, and he's just like, oh, no, it's real. <laughs> A little bit to the left. Oh, too far. There you go. Down. To the right. Down. Dude, what are you doing? This controller is really... Unintuitive, okay? For like precision shots, the sensitivity is really weak. Let me see it. No, get the fuck away from I, me. Because you know that I'm instantly gonna hit it if I do it. You're hitting the door. I'm hitting the chain, it's moving! No, you're not. You're hitting the gray part of the door at the top. I was watching you. Now. <laughs> you're lucky there's infinitely respawning bullets back there. Go refill your. Oh no! Now, what's this bit you were telling me that was I was going to lose my shit about? You know, do you know what the answer to the- OH MY GOD! <laughs> this was not a good move on your part. You told me to reload on ammo! I did- yeah, I also didn't think that this would happen. I'm gonna- you know what, I'm gonna follow up with one of my favorite responses ever. You didn't have to listen to me. <laughs> Je Jesus Christ. Holy shit, I can't believe you didn't just die. Alright, so you, do you know what the actual answer is to the, uh, to fighting the darkness? Uh, no. Komodo 3000. Komodo 3000. Oh, come on! Don't tell me you okay. don't know about the Komodo 3000! Uh, mm, it's stirring something deep within me, but I can't place it. Um, um... They say how long till the vision comes back? Oh, <laughs> yeah! There it is! About three days! <laughs> oh my god, totally <laughs> worth it! <laughs> god damn it. I could have literally just run in here and been okay. No, you have to wait you had to wait for the door to open. That's lots of bullshit. The Komodo 3000. <laughs> Komodo 3000. That's such is a the answer that's... to Alan's all of Alan's problems. That is... All he had to do was go to a fireworks store. Oh my god, I love that bit so much. Oh man, I feel like you need to add a clip of it. To I don't this think now. I could get away with it, but I might. Well, as long as you don't monetize the video, you'll be okay. Well, I can't, so it'll probably be fine anyway. Oh. Let me say how long until our vision comes back. <laughs> I knew that would have you in hysterics. It's my favorite bit because it just becomes daytime. <laughs> oh, fuck you. And that's what makes the whole thing for me. It's they look up and they're like, how do we know which one? And then there's a bang and a flash. And then it's daytime, daytime for like four seconds. And they're like, I think that's it. Holy fucking shit. I love, I love that so much. Oh shit, oh, that, oh shit! That made my fucking day. Oh good, I'm glad to have been of service. Oh. It's just daytime. <laughs> oh be man. Dead. Oh, I should be dead? Mm. You! Holy shit, I'm trying to think of more things that are on- that are on level with that. There was a fanfic that I read, uh, from my- from uh, my, for My Little Pony, that got that's uh. sort of like this. There's uh, oh, that's not even fair. I'm trying to remember what the actual what the actual name of it have is one before I bring around. it up. Well, now as good a time as any. That is absolutely a good time to use it. Get the right guy on your right. He's not burning from the flare behind you. A little busy. If that knife guy kills you, it's your own fault. I know. Oh god damn it! Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god. Um, what the fuck was it called? Uh, oh, okay. Well, the knife guy didn't kill me. Nope. It was, uh... Um... Oh, fuck. Project Sunflower, that's what that was. It was... So, th it's actually uh, it's actually a really cool story, and I'm, uh, like, just on its principle. Is that a thing you can press on your right back there? It was I saw a radio that I... Oh, okay. I'd already hit. So, the general principle is that it the, it's 
slightly farther. It's in the, the quote-unquote not-too-distant future um, it, of, of actual human, real-life, normal Earth. And the world has been impacted by a, uh, by a, a, a meteor that has gray goo on it. And are you familiar with what gray goo is, in, no. in theory? No. It's a self-replicating, like, nanomachine paste that absorbs out. any carbon-based material and converts it into more gray goo nanomachines uh -huh. so that it can self-replicate and move its way across the entire universe. Yeah. That theory, the, the basic theory behind it is you would create nanobots to go create Say, for example, well, make nanobots that would convert into more nanobots that would then be able to make Mars more habitable by removing the iron from the from the Earth, making it more uh, more right. uh, sustainable for plant life and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, the way that the way that gray goo comes in, in as a negative factor is that if those nanobots go haywire or aren't programmed, they'll just replicate themselves over and over and over again. And they something start... like the and in the story, the way that like the, the whole catalyst is something like this impacted the earth at some point in the past and it's slowly chipping away at the earth and just making a giant crater of ever increasing gray goo mm -hmm. and humans Come are like on. we can't, we physically have no way to stop this because fire doesn't work nukes don't work nothing is working to stop this so what we've done is created a perimeter that just has ever burning flamethrowers that are slowing it down a little bit but that's pretty much it and I'm not going to go on and on about the whole ins and outs oh, of it, but basically they're like, we found a cool, we basically found a device that lets us rip open portals in space and time and takes us to other habit potentially habitable planets based on the resonating frequency of, you know, whatever. Yeah. And the science behind it is very sci-fi, but it's also really interesting. Uh-huh. I'm just going to run, fucker. Let's go see if you can get out. And, <laughs> Nice. And eventually, of course, spoilers, ponies become involved because, hey, look at this habitable planet. We're going to go there. They're, they're clearly native inhabitants, but we really don't care. We need to get off this planet or we're all going to die. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Behind you. Holy shit. Oh, oh come God. on. There's like five fucking guys out here. Oh, oh, oh well, so I'm close. Dead. I'm just gonna triple drop. Right. Triple so, flare drop. So what they do is they get a they get a little bit of the gray goo and they uh they break it down to its baser levels and they basically reprogram it from uh, reverse engineering. Uh huh. I forget how they do it. They it involves electromagnetic fields or some bullshit. Anyway, they use that and they basically just go, okay, we have some volunteers, and based on a bunch of predetermined whatevers, we're gonna we're gonna say yes or no. You have to say yes or no to whether or not you want to go out to this this other habitable planet that we found that has this, these life forms on it, but you have to be willing to go through this transformation process where we basically use the gray goo and make you look like a native, which uh -oh. means turning someone into a horse, because sure. Yeah. Or a pony, more accurately. Anyway. Um, and the, I forget what her name is. I think it's Alice. I forget. Mm -hmm. is like sure whatever okay for the greater you know for the betterment of humanity and the same and the and the preservation of the species I'll go through with it because whatever yeah goes through it goes to the portal equestria shenanigans happen etc I won't get into the specifics of the whole thing uh, of the details or whatever but it's a really cool story I recommend it but the reason that I'm bringing this up in the first place is because all the way at the end of the story Celestia comes through the portal and is like Hey, I, cool, I can move the sun here, and I don't like that gray goo bullshit. And so she removes the sun. No, what she does is basically just channels raw energy from the sun and shoots it straight down fucking Hammer of Dawn style onto the planet and just melts a crater into the earth. And I think it's like a mile deep. That was cool. <laughs> that just incinerates everything because it's literally just a beam shoots out of the sun right down onto the planet. Okay. And it's a really, really cool sequence. That's nice. And basically, yeah, it doing a, a fucking... Ha I guess I could have just said it's like you know, using the hammer of Dawn and Alan Wake would be really effective, but <laughs> I gotta work. I gotta work my little pony every time into this somehow. So that's true. You do. But yeah, long story short, fucking Project Sunflower is a super cool fan fiction, and it got a sequel. It got a sequel. It did. The guy was like, I'm really, or I'm assuming guy, got, uh, was like, I'm gonna make a fucking cool sequel out of this because it's really, because it was really fun and people liked it. Wait, what? What? 
They just disappeared. They just disappeared. That's not even fair. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Mary Poppins. What? The Bloodborne bit. Uh, the Poppins of the okay, yeah. polygons. There we go. How do I know more about this show than you do? What show? What? Like this. Oh. The continuity of our bullshit. Because you don't have to edit it, so <laughs> you don't have to you don't have it constantly like banging against the side of your head. And you go back and watch the episodes. That's true. Oh! Good dodge. You're not allowed to go on a rampage today. He had to go through the gate and that's why he stopped. Because <laughs> technically it's a wall. Yeah. He's like one of the minotaurs from Nick Crypt of the Necrodancer. Yeah. Did you finally figure out how those work? I haven't played it in so long. Mm -hmm. I look at it every day and go, oh god, and then I don't play it. I still, I still really like the day where you, you were just like, how did you get to, how did you get to zone three? And I was like, oh. I'm on 2-1. Fuck my life. <laughs> Literally, my strategy for that game is beat my head against it until fucking something happens. Yep. Oh, come on. The Thunderdome? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Good stuff. Wait, the other, oh, okay. If you can get him to touch the electrical wires, he'll die instantly. That's why the guy that was in front of you died instantly. Get off. Just just fight him like normal, because trying to get him to maneuver in here is a death trap. Speaking of, do you ever watch Batman uh, Brave and the Bold? Let's see. No. Because there's an episode with uh, Neil Patrick Harris called Music Meister. Oh. You need to watch that episode. Yes, I do. Because, firstly, because of those things that I just said, mm -hmm. and secondly, because of the thing I'm about to say. There the is a song. number? There is... There, there are multiple mu musical numbers. musical episode, firstly. Uh-huh. Secondly, one of the songs is called Death Trap, and it is... Th I want you to... I, when I use the term Death Trap, and... I, we're specifically talking about comic books or comic book cartoons. Mm -hmm. What's the image that comes to mind? Like the most tropey death trap that you can think of. A bear trap. Okay. Do Sorry. another one. Pitfall? Do another one. TNT. Another one. Present grenade. Keep going. I fucking Acid bath crushing Acid walls. Bath crush spinning blades. The the song Death Trap is is Batman and Black Canary are tied to separate chairs, or I think maybe they're just tied back to back on a rope, I forget. Okay. But they're in a room and it is every death trap ever <laughs> happening at the same time. There's a big laser, there's crusher walls, there's bear traps, acid baths, okay. <laughs> spinning blades. Um what else? I'm pretty sure what? that there's a, sh a tank of sharks or something. Tank of there. sharks. Sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads. Yeah. Freaking laser beams. Larkin ammo. Oh how my come, god. How come nobody has done a subversion of Shark Tank where it's a like it's a rolling treaded like war machine with a with a shark inside of it? How come that's not a thing yet? I'm like, oh yeah, we have a shark tank, and everyone's just like, that's really cartoonish and impractical of you. It's like, no, I don't think you understand what I mean. What about a gun that shoots another gun that shoots shark tanks? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so I have a nickname for the flare gun now. Yes? The Komodo 550. <laughs> just to go for that super obscure No, go joke. for five the Komodo 500. No. Oh my god, it goes all the way. Oh, no. for <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> it's not gonna stop, so you have to go back to the other side of the bridge before it spins around all the way. Fuck oh, out of here, birds. That's such a fucking good, like, no. striking visual. When all of the birds fall out of the sky, <laughs> and they're just turning to ash. Oh, man. <laughs> this fucking video game. I run around, and I'm on the same side that I was before. Oh, that would be the best. Oh, man. I'm going to show you fucking Batman Brave and the Bold Death Trap when this episode's over. Yeah, you are. Because I thought, dude, I think the, the visual of the bridge moving outside, I thought the the building you were in was rotating. I was like, why is it doing that? 
Oh, How's hey, there doing? they are. Hey, what do you know? They need a place to land so they can pick you up. Okay. So, just... so they're just gonna give you a fucking spotlight of protection. Alan Wait, uh, Aaron Wakesfeld and Aaron Hansen. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> How about get the fuck out of here? Which is stupid bullshit. I still I like I know it's not actually the continuity, but I would love it <sighs> if Alan was actually just crazy and everyone's just trying to stop him. Everyone is totally normal and he's just totally mental. They're like, Alan, no, please listen to us, and he's just like the shadow people. <laughs> Did you just miss every shot? Oh no, you're shooting the guy behind him. I thought you were trying to hit the guy that was right in front of you. He somehow missed every shot. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, what a save. Calculated. There's a guy behind you. That's where that axe just came from. There he is. Damn. These are some hardy motherfuckers. Jesus Christ, this motherfucker. Awkward strike, but you got him. See what I'm looking at? Did you see the I've... fucking helicopter teleport? Oh. No, just let him go. Why? Because it's. Oh, they're they, just gonna dip yeah, out. It's just time for them to leave this segment. You have to go over there. What's Ah! I thought you got hit by a shadow car. Got it. Get in the light. Heal. Why did you do that? My bad. <laughs> uh, that's the first time that I've seen something like that happen, and it was to the extreme that I thought you were having a stroke or something. Franz, you okay? Like so that time Tim passed out at <laughs> McDonald's. You know the time. Yeah, I do know the time. <laughs> uh, I wasn't there, but I've, I've heard You the heard story me talk about times. it on more than one that occasion. That dude has a gun! No, he doesn't. He has a gun. No, he's another knife guy. Or is that a Tonfa? Tonfa? Okay, police baton. Yeah, I got French. What about it? I got French. Oh, come on! That's not even fair! Oh, Jesus. Well, at least the checkpoint's literally, like, right in front of you. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Um, did I tell you that, uh, while I was trying to during that period where I was actually trying to learn French, um... Are you not anymore? I'm, well, it's something that I'm so convinced that I won't be able to actually learn that I've kind of put it on the wayside, because I have all this other shit that I'm trying to do, but... Right. Um, there was one point where I was listening to the Best Friends podcast, and, uh... They have a whole segment where someone sent them a question that's like, "Could you? Do you guys know enough French that you could actually speak it for a segment of the show?" And they do. And I told Julie about it. And for those of the listeners who don't know, that is her first language because she's French Canadian, which is amazing to me. And she's like, "Wait a minute!" But when I when I met Wooly at uh, I, th I forget what convention it was, but I think it was Montreal Comic Con. Uh huh. Uh, she's like, I asked him a question in French and he didn't understand what I said. And I'm like, well, he, t him and Pat were talking about some bullshit in French because I don't know what the fuck they said. They might have rehearsed it. No, <laughs> they did not. You give the, I don't want to sound like an ass, but you give them far too much credit on that front. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, God. I'm a friend. Is your sister still in town? No. Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the lady of the light in the song. You can help me. So oh this God. is your super set. Like, remember her? In the first episode, she was like, I need my lantern because the fucking shadows are dangerous as shit. Mm hmm. That's her. She knows the shadows are dangerous. She was there. Excuse me? I'm just gonna pick up all this shit before. Oh, thank God. It's my your salvation. best friend, Heavy Duty Maglite. My salvation! Also, I don't know if you looked, but, uh, the, if you look at the banner on the, uh, on the channel, mm -hmm. the heavy-duty maglite is the first thing there. Huh. You didn't notice that, did you? 
It is the fr it is literally the thing that the Booker DeWitt that is immediately adjacent to it is illuminating. Oh, that's cool. Or being illuminated by, I guess. Pick up flare gun. Just steal all these protective things from this old lady. Sorry, old lady. You have to go out to the and repair some bullshit in the in the in the yard. Flares over there. I see two. I think. Cool. Oh. Stop shining the light in her face. Yeah. <laughs> what if she's a shadow person? It's literally like daytime in here. You open a closet. Oh god! You open a closet. And she's just got a bunch of Komodo five thousands. It's like a whole row of them. Three thousand. What the fuck would a Komodo five? The Komodo five thousand is what actually destroyed Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a nuclear bomb. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. That is bright as fuck. Where are you supposed to go to get through? Oh, I think oh, you have to go back outside. You have to backtrack. Yeah. Cut through the power transformer yard. No, I have to cut the power to it. Oh. Okay. That makes go. much more sense. Hey, buddy. Oh, this is gonna be so much more fun. Now that you have a light that's actually sufficient. Flashbang. Why? That's why. Damn. Took way too many shots. He's supposed to be headshots, but you know. Yeah, whatever. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. Darkness waits in my dreams. Oh man, whoever wrote these is super emo. It's probably her. Or maybe it was Thomas Zane. Rule number one, never go out at night. So it's her. Maybe. I honestly don't know. It's intended to be a mystery. I yeah. I mean, the, the, the overall story, but, you know. Now I had to find a way to reach it. You know what I found out recently? Uh-huh. That, um... What, um... Galaxy Quest was voted for one of... The, for being... One of the best Star Trek movies ever, even though it's not a even though it's not a Star Trek movie. Good on you. Yeah, but I think all three of them have to be closed. That might also be it. Yeah, buddy. Once again, good on you. I did it. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Everything's coming up wakeboarding. I... Also, is that like when you waterboard Alan Wake? Bodyboard, just in a very different sort of way. I don't know. No, like, no, I know. <laughs> uh -oh. That's why I said bodyboarding. Because if it's Alan Wake, then yeah. Oh! No. oh! oh! So, oh God damn it! Yeah, now. It's yeah, this is what I need to deal with. This is. Oh! 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 <laughs> Thank God. That's the one thing I appreciate about this is, save from some weirdness that we had in between episodes with that <laughs> whole thing with Sarah, the checkpoint system's really good. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. One. Go. Two. Now wait. Wait. Go. Yep. I thought you were gonna manage to snipe yourself through that little tiny gap and fall through like a one-inch hole. Oh, Whoa. come on, where did you come from? The darkness. Uh, oh, God damn it. Flare. Get closer with the shotgun. D fuck. That guy had a shadow shield and he fucking whipped his ass with it. <laughs> Just hit him. I guess I was wrong. Shooting guys that have a shadow shield, you'll still totally do damage. It's just not it's as... It's not life damage, it's shield damage. It's not as effective, no. Yeah. I remember this, seg this segment being much longer. Oh. Oh. God damn it! Why? You know... Over the gate! Over the gate! Open the gate! Open the gate! Oh. Yes, boy! 
nice conservation of uh, resources. I have to fight him. You'd think this would be close I'm enough. in the light! Yeah, that they would just be like, oh no. I need... Hey, asshole. Oh, come on! Oh my god. There you go. No! What the <laughs> fuck? I saw the guy in the back make the throw, I was like, it's gonna miss, and then it killed you, and I was like, oh. Uh, well, again, good checkpoint system at least. Yeah. But, okay. So I got the flare equipped, I got the shot equipped. You got your clean underwear on. This time. What are you saying, guy? What you mean, guy? Still easily one of my favorite quotes for, like, a dumb reference ever. That's not the shotgun. God, fuck that guy right there. Don't dare fucking get killed, I swear. I intended to aim that more at the guys who were attacking you. Like, don't you dare kill us. But it ended up coming across like I was trying to tell you fuck off, don't get killed. Which was the opposite of what I meant. Even though both applications kind of work. God damn it. Both oh. work, but one is one Oh is my god. I know. It's so jarring. This way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. Do you have any more stuff here I can take? <laughs> yes, lithium batteries. batteries. Do you dream of a world without reploids? Oh. <laughs> uh, Is he gonna jab at Mega Man? Yes. Why? <laughs> because I, it's just one of those sentences that I've heard. <laughs> I know it's about Mega Man, so I wanted to say it and see what your reaction would be. Oh no, I don't that want to. That was close. That. That's the one that you left behind for the, for for new waifu lamp chan. That one hurt you physically, didn't it? No, it just made me think of Girl Chan in Paradise. Oh god. Girl Chan in Paradise. Which makes me think of uh Strong Bad. Just Why not does that make Because you it think was from the same era oh. of internet. Okay. I, okay, motherfucker. I was thinking about fucking Ultimate Showdown the other day. Don't you get me started on ancient internet. Ultimate Muscle? Ultimate Show. Oh, that song. Oh, there okay. you go. I was, like, I, I was giving you a look like I was gonna kill you because <laughs> holy shit, if you didn't know what the Ultimate Showdown was. Oh, man. Willing to bet most of the people who watch this, because let's be honest, it's mostly just us <laughs> at this point, uh, are most of the folks who would watch this wouldn't know what that is. Mm -hmm. What was that? For? That's like that's like 2006. Yeah. At the oldest, at the like at the at, at no, at the absolute earliest. Yeah, no, at the latest, it's probably earlier than that. That's like well, a bit's going on. You control this. Oh, I geez. think the episode's about to end too. I also think that. This pipe will take us directly to the well lit room. Okay. It's called the well lit like room. Tell them where we're going. Let's be honest. That's exactly what you would hope it's named in this situ in this situation. Barry, mm -hmm. we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay. Are you looking up the year that the fucking Ultimate Showdown came out? Uh oh. I think the helicopter just crashed. Sean! Oh my god, you were like on the money. It was 2006. Damn! This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Did you see the alternate version? No. The ultimate orgy? No. It's exactly the same, but everything's gay. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Oh, okay. No, it was 2005. But like literally late 2005, so it might as well be 2006. December 22nd. Futuristic world of what was it? The futuristic world of 2008, when the Soviet Union rose to power for a year, yeah. and then it was promptly defeated by the Ghost Recon Squad. <laughs> ah. 
Alright, that's the end of episode 14 of Alan Wake. Yeah, see you next time when we don't beat the game yet. No, not yet. There's still another chapter after this one. No. We're almost there. Bye, guys.